here is the new revised window plans. Uh -huh. On this level though, we needed one window which can open up and I wanted your approvals. Approved, okay. Approved. That's approved. Right. We recently bought a house and we're meeting with the builder today. And the best part about it is we get to build the house of our dreams. Oh, I would like to, since we're all here, talk about this room. I think this should be the clothes closet. While you move yeah. on to here, you see chandeliers, plasmas. Right. And then you walk in here, and it's the shoe closet. Da, 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 another chandelier. This wall comes down, then? Wall comes down, maybe keep it a little bit of it up. OK. I have to define what the shoe closet is and what's the clothes closet. I'm going to have like a little Spartacus corner, too, where he can hang up his sweaters. Like Everybody's going to want to spend some time in this closet. In the Coco cave. We can actually hook up a, a, a thing that'll pick up your entry when you yes. come through. A, <laughs> a little doorbell that goes, Good to see you. Jonathan is our casting director for Law & Order. He's known me almost 11 years now. He's a great guy. So I came here. Yeah. So I'm in a jam, and you're the person to get me out. So we got the uh, upcoming episode of SVU Theater Tricks, and it deals with three couples that are greeted by the Roman goddess, Venus. I've been searching for an actor to play Venus someone who embodies sexuality and love and beauty and temptation mm. and I had an epiphany. So I think you're that character. That's very cool. I, I'm taking that as a compliment. Sometimes the, 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 the best ideas are the ones that are sitting in front of you the whole time. Now, it's a funny thing because growing up, I wanted to be the model. I could care less about the acting world, but I guess it's in my blood because my parents, they're actors. They met on the set of Bonanza when they were young. I love to perform. I love to entertain. I love to see people smile. So being on SVU is going to be fun. It's an artful scene, you so, know? But when do they if start you, shooting? Is quick. It, is it like... So I'm going to get you the script, take a okay. look, consider it, because okay. you're perfect for it. Think so? I do. I consider Law & Order my second family. So it's a lot of pressure on me. A lot of special guests, they come from LA, do their part, and then they're out the next day, back on a plane, back to LA. With me, it's my family. <laughs> so I gotta do good. I'm up for the challenge, definitely. Good boy, good boy. Let me say something to you about my show. They're not doing any favors on that show, and they would not have you on the uh -huh. set unless they were sure you could pull this off. So you should feel good about yourself. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, oh. Speaking part? Speaking part. Mm -hmm. He just said the character's name was Venus. Hopefully, after you do this role, you'll get bigger roles and other things will happen. And then you can pay the rent, and I can retire, and me and Spartacus can travel around, and he could stud. No, that's not happening. You'll be. Come on. You don't like me to do the back loads, do you? What are you doing? I am trying to kind of prepare him, because I think it's about time we start looking for a female for him. What's your requirements? I'm thinking like an all white dog. An all-white dog? What's wrong with a little brown in there? You dig? I really want her to be romantic. Yeah. Romantic? Romantic. They can, you know, go to the park and have a little date. That's not how it works. I think it would be cute if she got a little bride's outfit. Dogs don't get married. In my house, they get married. So really, this is just a chance for you to look like you're out of your mind. You know what I always say at the end of the day? If it's not going to destroy the relationship, do it. Spartacus is the impregnator. Yeah. Every time I walk in here, I walk into shoe heaven. Ouch! Oh! Ooh. Aren't they gorgeous? Yes! yes. <laughs> Everybody has their own way of celebrating. When I got the part on Law & Order, Solji and I decided to have a little fun. I love these. Yeah, those are really cute. Some people know wine. I know about shoes. The higher the hill, the sexier you'll feel. The arch of the foot, it's like the arch of your back going into your butt. You want to see a little toe creeping out on the top of your stilettos. Every girl wants toe cleavage. That's sexy. This is the cabinet of don't F with me. Powerful stuff in here. I'm so loving this. This is okay, like. It's called 
Yes, it's a total yes. Hi, Jonathan. No, I don't really like browns too much either. Wow, okay. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Thanks for calling. All right, bye, Jonathan. Oh my bye. God. You know my law and order part? So not only am I playing Venus, mm -hmm. he just gave me news that I'm going to be kissing someone. Oh, wow. The person I kiss is Mercury. It has to be a hot guy with a nice body, like 12 pack and just nice. And if he's the male version of you, like, come on. And with Law and Order, they use stars all the time. Oh, wow. How do you think Ice is going to feel about that? To watch your wife or watch your husband kiss somebody, you know? He's probably used to people getting to look at you, but not touch. No. Now when someone gets to actually look and touch. Apple with peanut butter, is that good? Who eats apples with peanut butter on them? Obviously, I do. Is there anybody else? Of... Yes, school kids. When I grew up, girls used to stick peppermint sticks inside of a pickle. Tell me that's not nasty. No. It's like, I used to think they used to try to see how nasty it could be. Don't squish your face up before you even try it. You didn't even get the taste buds going. I got another phone call from Jonathan at Law & Order about my part. Mm. A little bit more information. The show is filming a play. Right. In the play that they're right. filming, I'm in it. I guess I'm gonna be holding an apple. Right. Saying Shakespeare. Are you a method actress now? You practice the apple eating? No, this is a coincidence. Okay. Thank you. Shakespeare isn't easy. I know. You could do it, though. By the way, there's a kiss involved. A kiss? Who are you kissing? It just involves a kiss. It just says kiss. Who you kiss, me? No. Danny? The part's called Mercury. How about that? Yes, he's a god. Kiss a god. <laughs> In acting, when you have to kiss somebody, it's not really a kiss. It's weird. It's like you're putting your mouth up against somebody. You're acting it out. It's not mm -hmm. really a kiss. You know, as an actress, you have to read to go along with the script, you know? Whether you got to kiss, you know, Big Arnold Schwarzenegger buff man, or you got to kiss a 400-pound greasy man with hair on his back. What if they say lick his back? Well, if I was, then I'll have to do it. But I don't think they're going to do that. might want you to put yet. peanut butter on him. Let's taste it. No. Look it. That's nasty. Well, this is the wardrobe room. Not many people see this, but this is like the ultimate closet. Wow, this is big. It's two days before I shoot my scene with Law and & Order, and I get to go to wardrobe to get dressed up. Yes. So here's what we're going to do. You're playing Venus. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. You're going to put this little number on. This is nothing but butt. I'm good. Thanks, guys. Do you know your lines, like what you'll be saying? Just so you could probably get a feeling. I don't. I haven't received my script yet. So I'm... You'll be fine. I'm kind of in the dark because I really don't know what my character's doing. All I know is the character's name is Venus. I don't want to embarrass Ice, I don't want to embarrass myself, and of course, I don't want to embarrass the Law & Order family. We can just go back and forth and kind of fill the character out. What is a goddess like? Is she strong? Right. So how does Venus sound? Let's just say this could be a Shakespeare story, so maybe you want to try it in a British accent. Hello, Zeus. It's lovely to see you again today. Oh, I'm just looking over at my land and wondering, where is my lovely man? Where is my lovely Zeus? I'm here for you, Venus. That's not working. Salty means well, but I want to be up on my game. So I think I'm going to brush up on my acting skills and take an acting class. You're in an acting class. Take out the gum, please. Lose it. All right, here's the deal. I'm not here to fix anybody. I could care less about your psychological bull****. In fact, they, people spend their lives with, with therapists to get fixed. This is not about being fixed. This is about your damage and how do you use it in a role. I was looking for an acting class, but this guy is really scary and the whole class is really serious. I'm beginning to think I'm in over my head. Anybody here going for any roles, any parts coming up? What are you going for? I'm doing a reading for a new musical. Louder. I'm doing a reading for a new musical next month. Did you bring any material? Yeah, I did. Good. This is very important that you hear the bullshit that comes out of your mouth. Come from here. One time. 
Anybody else? Yes. Okay, there's no judgment. I have a small part on Law and Order coming up. A small part. Do you know the character you're playing? Uh, the goddess Venus. Goddess Venus. You know how many beautiful blondes there are walking around in this country? Millions. Thank you. You know what's going to separate you from them? I'm going to tell you. What power do you have over men? The... They... They? Lust for you. This is not a foreign concept. You know about this. Mm -hmm. Right? May I? Mm -hmm. Stand up. What are you going to do to get him interested? I will put a power over him. Yes. Yes, I you are. Use, I will use my power yes, over you. Yes, you will. Turn, turn, and tell them the I power will, you're going to put on I him. I will use my power over him. And force him? To be mine. OK. You don't get a prize? Didn't you like Venus? That's good. The rest is bull <laughs> I'm very involved in the Long Island Bulldog Rescue. Every year we get together and we dress our bullies up and have a little party to help raise money. And what better place than here to have Spartacus meet the bulldog of his dreams? Good job! Yeah. It makes me seem like I'm not as crazy <laughs> inside. I thought I was the most insane person, but I see all you guys are insane with me. <laughs> I'm looking at all these dogs and tutus and, and costumes and makeup. This is like some crazy dog dream, but maybe Spartacus could find his love here. I'm going to roll with it. See, now, there's a lot of little cute girls here, but, you know, get some action for Spartacus right out of here. So excited. Spartacus oh, might find a good. wifey. Low five. Oh. And there she was, a beautiful, miniature bulldog looking back at Spartacus. It was love at first sight. Just being his mom and knowing what he wants, I knew this was the dog for him. You want a boyfriend? Do you like Sparty? And she's just a little cutie pie, Sparty. She is. She's ready to go into heat with the next. Yes. So we're going to have to exchange numbers. We're going to exchange numbers. Maybe have like a play date. Maybe Absolutely. Maybe get together. We'll definitely have a play date. And they date. can, you know, exchange conversations, smell each other's butts. Most definitely. Ooh. Law and order. It's probably my script. Well, your script this time. Venus! <gasps> OK, read the scene. A goddess just saying lust, beauty. You have to give it your chest area. Is that right? If love is not madness, it is not love. Woo! Should have shot that. Thank you. <laughs> I was feeling it right there. Read the stage direction. Three vignettes of couples overcome by lust. And whoa, 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 whoa. That thing says three couples overcome by lust. You said you're just kissing somebody. Wait, is that it? Yeah, end of teaser. Nothing wrong with that. It's a small part. Right. But I'm the only one talking in the scene. That's more lines than everybody else in the world got. I says right. When I look at these lines, you know, it's not a huge part. I could work with it. If love is not madness, it is not love. What's up, Beth? Hey, hey Eyes. You read the, the, the next script? Yeah, I read the script. Yeah? You too? Uh-huh. Coco's kissing somebody. <laughs> huh? You read it too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's kissing you somebody. You don't mind? No, I don't Your mind. Your lady kissing on somebody? It's acting. You gonna watch? Are you gonna have to be on set? I'm gonna be on the set to support Coco, encourage her. You know, this is big for her. Also, I'm gonna be there to make a little eye contact with this guy that's gonna be kissing my wife. <laughs> Both you guys. <laughs> It bothers him. It does bother him. Does she use tongue? Not unless you coached her, Kelly. <laughs> this is it right here, number one. 
Recently, Spartacus met a bulldog named Winnie, so today we're going to Long Island to see if sparks fly. Dogs don't have dates. In my house, Spartacus dates. In your head, Spartacus dates. Hey, hi, pretty girl. Hi, pretty girl. <laughs> Yes! Oh, my. When he has on an outfit, how do they both know to wear clothes? Hey! Hello. <laughs> because they have crazy mommies, that's why. Exactly. Yes. Can we put your skirt down, please? Yes. Let's not She's be a hussy. She's trying to flip it up already. There we, there we go. These yeah. dogs met at a costume party, and now Coco and I are actually chaperoning them on a date. It's amazing. Am I the only person that finds this strange? It's beautiful, and there's romance all at the same time. <laughs> Like spaghetti and meatballs. Look, look what he's doing. Oh my god. <gasps> so we have the hair right here, so we're gonna. So do I totally tomorrow. will look like a goddess in this. Okay, uh, yeah, this is really gonna work. Sir, so look, it's coming to light. It's a few hours before my scene. It is a little nerve wracking. I just don't wanna mess up. I wanna do a good job for my law and order family. It looks good. It looks good. You're about to kill him. The main thing is to say your lines right. Just go out there, be a professional, knock it out. Mm -hmm. Know what it is, though? You got Venus, Mercury, Spartacus. He feel like he's left out of the scene. Winnie is his Venus. I know it. You're the doggy bone chaperone. Hey, what up, Bess? Hey, 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 Coco. Hey. We got a five-minute warning for a rehearsal. And mm -hmm. also, I have the actor playing Mercury outside. Love mm -hmm. to meet you. That OK? Yes. Be right back. Hey. Bring him in. All right. Ah, Coco. Size him That's up. It. Size hey, him up. Don't get jealous. Don't get jealous. Don't no, get I'm jealous. I'm cool cucumber. You're a Mercury? Hi. How are you? Wow, you'll be playing Mercury? I wanted to come by and see you before our scene. I'm excited. The plot thickens. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> they told you that you were going to be kissing me? Yeah. They didn't tell me. Oh, you were uh, expecting to kiss a guy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, I just assumed it was a guy. They didn't right. even say a girl or woman, but Mercury. No, they gave me the heads up to make sure it was OK. And once I heard it was you, I was like, of course. Wow, yeah. Because <laughs> you're gorgeous. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> It was nice meeting you. Pleasure. Thank you for coming. You, my all pleasure's right. all mine. Take Seriously. care. <sighs> OK, we'll see you later. Pretty sure this episode's going to have a rating spike. When I walked into the room, it was an amazing moment, because it was a huge set. Coco's scene was one of the more elaborate productions that Law & Order does. Usually, we're in a interrogation room is two or three people. This one had, there was about 50 extras there. On top of the camera and crew. Yeah. Where I was standing, I was overlooking the crowd. And they had the black robes, yeah, robes, and then they had the masks on their heads. You got 100 extras walking around in dog masks and pig masks. It was a damn circus in there. I'm standing up on the platform about to do my scene. And I'm looking down at all these faces and realizing this would be so much easier if they were strangers. But I knew everybody in that room. So I got to nail the scene and be the best Venus ever. Here we go. So uh, right on my end. Go. Ready? And background. And action. Lust, beauty. If love is not madness, it is not love. on SVU, that. That is a wrap on Coco Nicole. You can't get better than doing it in one take. That's the final level. That's top shelf acting right there. I'm very proud of you. Thank you, baby.
One take. You say the lines right. I used to like. Good. Sh that was so much fun. Hold up, Spark. Mom's gonna be on TV. Okay, I think it's about to come on. These are their stories. Tension mounts. But you think you think. Shh. Oh. oh. Lust, beauty. What love is not madness? It is not love. It is. That was it. I think it's. That. <laughs> that was good. I felt really good. I'm like really proud of you myself. You did exceptional, Coco. When they say Venus, the goddess of love, how on earth could they direct you <laughs> when you are the total embodiment of the goddess of love? Oh, there you go. They love you over there on this show. Let's play back. Let's play back. Let's play We're back. just gonna play back. We're not even gonna Let's watch play. the episode. Let's play back. You don't even watch me on Law and Order. That's a whole nother conversation. Cause I'm about to come on again. All right. Oh Lord. Go. Get ready. <gasps> oh, look at her. If love is not madness. It is not love. <laughs> on the next episode of Ice Loves Coco. I really want you and Ice to be godparents. Chrissy wants us to come to Arizona, but that's little Ice's birthday weekend. Cheers to little Ice. Oh, I'll call my daughter Tisha, my grandson, and get the whole family together. Let's have a big party. Being a godparent means you're that child's spiritual guide. So you picked a butt model and a gangbanger. Yes. Good idea. Okay.